Hi, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library, and today I am going to show you how to do our Week Six Littles Kit. Our theme for summer reading is Imagine Your Story, and our theme for this week is Ancient Egypt, um, specifically Egyptian mythology, which is really, really fun and very imaginative. So our Week Six Littles Craft is making papyrus paper, and it's way easier than that sounds but in your kit you are going to have three things you're going to have a instruction booklet that has a little bit more than just instructions it has some history about papyrus papyrus is a plant that they made paper out of that grew along the nile delta and the nile in the nile river valley so this talks a little bit about what papyrus was where it came from and how they used it. Um, and then on the next page, it talks about specifically how the ancient Egyptians made papyrus. It's obviously very different than what we're going to make today since we don't have papyrus handy. But they had papyrus just growing right near where they lived. And so they would harvest it and they'd peel that outer fiber away, which they would use for baskets All and right, so other now things, my sandals. Papyrus paper and then the has stem dried, of it, it that was left, they cut you into strips. There is a book sitting on top and of it. And that is pictured here. Once it was dry, and once they, it had, had kind of scrubbed up, they did the a couple edges. other things so to them. I, they could lay them out morning, and layer them in a way that would make paper. Just to flatten it out, so you can do that as well. That'll tell you how papyrus was made. Just make sure that it's dry enough. The next page is a reading response, so if you want to quiz yourself on your papyrus knowledge, you can do that. And, and what you'll wind up with is this right here for making papyrus. And the last page are the reading response answers. Don't look ahead or do. It's up stuck. to you. This is for fun. <laughs> to this wax paper. Like a school I'm not sure what I was thinking. So was the one you really, really need to make the craft the is this paper was uh, fifth on. page. Fourth I had page. never done this before. Um, so that is making papyrus. And it gives you step-by-step instructions on how to do this. So what I would do is trim off the edges. So you could just follow this if you don't want to use the video. But you're here. So I'm assuming you want to do the video. stuck to your wax paper. So you guys also in your papyrus making kit, you will have parts Paper. Some brown paper um, bag. Try spraying the paper. Probably with, about two uh, nonstick spray. Given you what can experiment with that and see if you can make it. And so you will have you this have small piece of wax paper. The backing of it. Then you will um, need to provide this a what couple I things. With You'll need I'm some so happy with white glue. And it does not have to be ours. It can be any old brand of white glue. But you do need the liquid stuff, not like a glue stuff. All you really need is some crayons. You need or a bowl. You could You'll look need up some water online. You might need a measuring cup if you want to be precise about it. I was not super precise. Uh, it's hard to say. Really and you'll fast. need a spoon or a stirring stick. I'm using the leather popsicle name. stick that I had on, on there. I'm and not going to use my spoon. Or, or it involves two really you know, hard ones to draw. To do it. Um, that are so in my bowl, a lot of just lines. So which I'm going to show you. In my bowl is a quarter cup ish of water and a quarter cup ish of glue. I eyeballed it, so I actually don't know how much is in here. But that's fine. You can just measure. It's half and half. So however much water you put in, that's how much glue you put in. So I just eyeballed it. But you will. You're going to stir it up and hopefully not spill it all over your table. I always really like making Make sure you're doing this craft on a surface that's easy and clean enjoyed your papyrus craft you don't think uh, you this is going to get messy this is basically a paper mache sort of craft um and we're going to get our hands dirty our hands are going to get wet and gluey and our table is probably going to get wet i know myself i've already made a mess i'm going to make a bigger mess you guys that's just what i do so make sure you're doing this on a surface that can be cleaned really easily. You could even do this outside, just like on a concrete patio if you wanted to. You could totally do this outside if it's nice. It's pouring rain here right now. So stir that up until it's really well mixed. You don't want strings of glue um, not dispersed in there. So just mix it up really good. Try not to slosh it out of your bowl like I did. And set that to one side. So. You're going to put your wax paper in front of you and you want to make sure you lay it. If you feel this wax paper, it's double sided. One side feels rough and one side feels smooth and that smooth side is the waxy side. So you want that face up for this because that's what we're going to layer on. 
So you're going to take your paper bag and I'm just going to go ahead and tear off the bottom because I don't want that super thick piece. This is not a precise craft. You don't need scissors to do this. I think, in fact, they might actually adhere better if you don't cut them, if you whip them like that, um, rather than cut them. So you're going to rip off the bottom of your bag and then go ahead and just rip your bag open so that you have this long piece of bag. And then you're going to start tearing your bag into strips. So I'm just going to go ahead and tear lots of strips. Until I don't have bag left pretty much. And we'll see how many this gets me before I dip into that second bag. I'm not sure how many this needs. It really didn't say it just said a brown paper bag. But their picture totally has three. I'm just saying. I'm suspicious. So keep tearing. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect strips. I have a feeling those rough edges that we tear, that one's kind of big. Maybe I'll tear that one in half more. I have a feeling that these rough edges that are being made will hold the glue a little bit better and will meld together a little bit better than they would if you cut them. I could be wrong, but that's just what I think. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to go ahead and lay these out so I can see how many I need, is we're gonna be making a layer this way, and then we're gonna be making a layer this way. And I think we only make two layers. Yep, just two layers. And so I think one, a look at that one brown bag is all you need. So you guys will not have two, you'll only have probably one in your kit because that is all you need for this. So I'm gonna set my strips aside and now comes the super gross messy part. So I hope you don't mind getting your hands dirty, you guys, because you are definitely going to have to for this craft. So what you're going to do is you're gonna dip your strips in the glue water mixture. So like this. You're gonna just pull it out the other side. Make sure you get it completely covered. Once you've pulled it out, it feels really gross. Hold it over here. I know you can't see the top of it, but I'm holding it just in my fingers over the bowl and I'm gonna run my fingers down it like that just to get the really like excess glue off. And then I'm gonna lay my strip down on my wax paper like that. And I'm going to do that again. We're going to start ooh, overlapping. I'm going to make such a huge mess, you guys. Definitely do this somewhere where it's not super a problem if you make a mess. So we're going to start laying them down. When we lay the next one down, we want to make sure it overlaps our first one a little bit. We don't want like a gap between them, okay? So like that. And we're going to keep doing this. I'm sorry, you guys are just going to have to watch me do this a bunch. So you're going to do your next one. Get off all the excess. It feels really gross, you guys. Layer it down. And you can see there's still excess on there, and that's okay. You just don't want globs of it on there. I don't know if you can see that, but you see how much white is running down that? That's way too much. So just make sure you're always getting that off there. And I'm going to layer it this way because bigger down on this side like that and I think one more will do the trick you don't want to go all the way to the edge of your wax paper you want to have um, you want to have a border either direction I'm just gonna lay down one more strip so now we went make sure all your edges are laying down that one was poking up a little bit so I smoothed it down so give your um, sheet of gross, gluey brown paper a look and make sure all the edges are laying down. See, that one's trying to pop up. We, we want all those edges to be smoothed down and touching each other so that they'll glue together. 
So now we, we laid our strips this way and now we want to lay them across. So we want vertical the first time and horizontal the second time. So I'm going to keep going with my glue. I have way more glue than I need. That's okay. You can make all sorts of, um, you can make a lot of papyrus with this if you want, if you have brown sacks at home. Some groceries you can do it. So I'm laying it across this time. I'm going to keep going. Oh, there is that seam in that bag. That's probably where I should have split my bag apart rather than just ripping it in half like I did. Oops. It'll be okay. That's what glue's for. And again, just remember, make sure you're always wiping off that excess glue. See that one had a lot on there. Lay it across. Oh my, look how much glue. Lay it across. I only have one more strip. Let's see if that'll get me all the way to the edge. I think it might. But if not, we can use our bag bottom to patch a little bit. In case we need to do that. Ew. Ew, it's everywhere. Okay. So again, just make sure all your edges are down. They're not popping up anywhere. And now, unfortunately, is the not fun part. You have to clean up and you need to let this dry. So you're going to set this someplace where it'll be safe. It won't get messed up. Set it somewhere where it can lay flat and you are going to let it dry. And I will see you once mine is dry. All right, so now my papyrus paper has dried. I let it dry overnight. And you may notice there is a book sitting on top of it. And that is because once it was dry, it had kind of curled up on the edges. So I, this morning, laid a book down on it just to flatten it out. So you can do that as well if you notice it's curling up. Just make sure that it's dry enough you can set the book on there without getting glue and grossness all over your book because that would be sad. And what you'll wind up with is this right here. And I noticed that it's pretty stuck onto this wax paper. I'm not sure what I was thinking was going to happen here. I kind of thought the wax paper was going to come off. I had never done this before, so you guys got to see me do this for the first time. Um, but it did not, so what I would do is trim off the edges so that you have just your papyrus paper when you're done, if it's stuck to your wax paper. You guys could also experiment with that and use different kinds of wax paper or maybe try parchment paper, um, maybe try spraying the paper with uh, nonstick spray. You can experiment with that and see if you can make it so that you only have the papyrus and you don't have the backing of it. Um, but this is what I wound up with and I'm, I'm still happy with that. And now that you have your papyrus paper, you can decorate it, you can play with it, you can write on it. Um, so all you really need is some crayons or a pen. You could look up hieroglyphs online if you look up hieroglyph al alphabet. Um, that's hard to say really fast. You can figure out the letters of your name and you could write those on there. I'm not going to do my name because it involves two really hard ones to draw um, that are bird shaped and then a lot of just lines. So my name's kind of weird in hieroglyphs. So we're not going to do that. But you can draw on it and it, crayons work really well on this surface. I'm just going to do a quick design to show you guys. And you can draw whatever you want really. But now that you have let your paper dry, you have some papyrus paper. I hope you guys had fun with this. And I always really like making a mess. I think that's a good way to have fun all the time. But I hope you guys join us again and enjoyed your papyrus craft. Thank you.